Hello everyone, this is Amit. In this video, we'll learn how you can install Visual Studio Code text editor in your Windows operating system. I'm using Windows 10, but it should also work with Windows 11. We'll also spend some time in just setting it up for the first timer and some basic features in Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. Uh, the very first thing we need to do is just to download the executable. So go to uh, your browser and just search for Visual Studio Code. Uh, Visual Studio Code is developed by Microsoft and you can find it on this website, https uh, code.visualstudio.com. Now, just a quick, uh, quick comment, Visual Studio Code is different from Visual Studio, which is their uh, main uh, IDE. Uh, this is a text editor, it's free and it's uh, pretty lightweight. So let's go ahead and click on Downloads. And depending upon the operating system, you can even install it on Mac or Linux. For us, we are going to look at Windows. Now there are different uh, ways in which you can install. There is a 64-bit application, 32-bit. And then even if you would like to have a portable version, there is a zip version also, which does not install, but it just keeps everything into one single folder. So for us, or for the most users, the 64-bit should be good enough. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, and it should download the executable. Usually this executable is in your downloads folder. So let me open the downloads folder. Okay, so right here, I have Visual Studio uh, EXE. Now let's go ahead and install it. And installation is pretty straightforward. Just simply double click or right click and open. All right, uh, you can read some of the license agreement, but for the most part, just accept, go next. Now, one thing to be aware of that uh, it install Visual Studio Code in your uh, user folder under app, data, local, and programs. Usually many of the softwares are installed in C program files, but it is installing in this location. So you can keep it as default, uh, or if you want to change it, you can change it as well. So let's click, I'm going to leave it as it is. So click next, and this is the name it's going to give to the folder. And here you can add uh, just a desktop icon if you need to, if you need to open it later on. And these two uh, checkbox are some additional features. Uh, basically, it means that if you are on a Windows uh, file explorer, and if you want to open a particular text file, you can actually right click on it. And then it will allow you to open uh, with Visual Studio Code. So that is what it is saying that you would you like to add open with code in your context menu or right click menu. So I like that many times. If I want to open a particular file in Visual Studio Code, I can just simply right click and open with code. And then same thing with the this second uh, checkbox, which basically works for directory. If you are aware of uh, the context menu, the right click or context menu changes a little bit when you are right clicking on a file compared to let's say a like a, some kind of a folder. And so it is actually useful if you want to open all the files inside that directory uh, to be added into Visual Studio Code to check this box. So I'm going to check this and we will later on try one of these. All right, so let's keep the other as it is. Let's go to the next, install, and it should be done it pretty quickly. All right, so it is installed. And so let's go ahead and click Launch and click Finish. Okay, so here is, if you're opening Visual Studio for the first time, this is what you should get. Uh, if you don't see this, usually there's a Get Started uh, uh, box and you need to click. And so let's go ahead and quickly set it up for the first time. And so the very first thing is to set up the color theme or the way in which how the Visual Studio looks. And so by default, usually it's a dark mode but you can click whether you want a lighter uh, you know, theme or, or, or some other theme. So if you click on see more themes, it will also allow you to actually uh, use some of the other theme. If you want to just give it a try, you can go up and down arrow key. So just to see and to get the feel for these particular theme. And if you like a particular one, you can click on that and then it will be changed to that. So there are a lot of themes that Visual Studio Code comes with and then you can even add more or install more. I prefer to keep it a dark theme, but just for this particular demonstration, it's easier to see things 
in the video so I'm going to keep it a light mode okay so we are done with how it looks uh, the next part is right here you can sync uh, some of the settings in Visual Studio Code from your previous computer now as I said this is a first time setup so probably you don't have it uh, but if you do want to enable this syncing so that in future uh, you can use your existing settings then you can enable it and all you have to do is you have to actually sign in into Microsoft account I believe and so once you set that it keeps track of all your you know settings or personal settings that you do it in Visual Studio Code and so that it is it is available when you install it on other computer so for, for now I'm going to leave it as it is uh, let's go to the next setting which is this one shortcut to access everything now this is a very very important shortcut that you may need to remember and that is basically control shift P or it's called a command palette also and basically this one shortcut gives you access to everything that is there in your Visual Studio Code as it says and so let's try and try control shift P and then let's say we want to create a new file and so the way in which it works is it, it actually you just start typing what you want to do and it is smart enough to give you narrowed down you know f uh, features in Visual Studio so right here I want to create a new file click on that oops and there you go by default it was I think it's a Jupyter notebook so that's why it opened that one uh, I'm, I don't want to do anything with this but let's try control shift P again and as they say view toggle and so you can uh, change it to full screen mode if you want if you want to get out of full screen mode click on that and so uh, by using control shift P even if you don't remember a particular location of, of a menu item or any feature in uh, Visual Studio Code you can simply start typing for example let's say open and you can open a particular file right here as it says or a particular folder and anything else I mean all these options or, or these menus that are there in Visual Studio Code will be available through command prompt uh, command palette and so again this is a very very useful keyboard shortcut just remember that uh, and then you can use it frequently let's go to the next part it says it has a, a pretty good support for all kind of programming languages including Python, Java, HTML, uh, you know C, C++. In fact there are a lot of people who use uh, Visual Studio Code uh, are HTML developers and uh, CSS and all the other things. So it has a pretty good uh, support for all the major programming languages and, and each of these programming languages has a certain requirements and so there are extensions or plugins as you call uh, which you can install to basically add to the features and so if I click on this uh, you can see that there are there are these numerous uh, plugins that are there in uh, Visual Studio Code now by default it does support majority of them but each of a particular programming language has its own special feature so for that you may have to install uh, some of these so let's look at maybe Python uh, let's click on that and let's just quickly read through what it is saying so basically this extension uh, basically extends the support for Python development and so it adds IntelliSense uh, it, uh, it adds some code formatting you refactoring linting you know debugging and a lot of other features that it adds and so if you are going to use Visual Studio for a particular programming language development make sure that you install that particular extension so I'm going to just show you how easy it is to install just click on install and it shouldn't take too long and you can see it is already installed if you want to remove it you can remove it later on alright so that is about a language extension support again you can go through the list of these uh, programming language supports for example let's say HTML let's try this and you can install this as well so I'm going to install this and it's done so it is very quick and fast okay so the next part that you would like to set up is basically opening your code now Visual Studio can open a particular one file or if if uh, you want to use a entire folder as your project folder you can do that as well so if I go to pick a folder and if I go to desktop and let's take 
this one. And so there are a few files uh, that are there in this particular uh, folder and it will ask whether you trust the authors. Uh, of course, I created this, so I'm saying yes, trust. And now I can see all the, the, all the files in that particular folder, right? So it allows you to select a project folder and then you can work on all the files within that folder. Okay, let's go back. So in order to go back to our uh, setup, uh, you can close this folder because we open this folder. So go to File, and right here it says Close Folder. Okay, so we are back to the, the setup part, and I'm going to click on this one. So yep, we are done with how to set it up, uh, the themes, syncing part, you know, Control Shift P as a command palette, uh, all the language support, and then also how to open a a folder. So let's go to the next section. Uh, now, uh, in order to learn some of the, the, the features or the editing part of uh, Visual Studio Code, you can actually open this editor, uh, which is an interactive editor, and which will allow you to actually learn some of the, uh, the editing skills. Uh, you can read through it, and you can learn more about it. Uh, I'm not going to go into the detail, but if you want to learn more about Visual Studio Code, you can open that and just read through and play around. Uh, and it will help you to actually uh, learn more features about Visual Studio Code. Uh, let's go to the next part. And so in order to show the terminal, there is actually these, uh, these icons right on the top. And you can click on it and you can see that the terminal uh, is open. So if you're on Windows, it will open a PowerShell terminal. Uh, if you're on Mac, it will open a terminal window, I believe. Right. So you can play with that. Uh, now, we just so far looked at the programming language extension, but these extensions or plugins are not limited to just a language. And so there are a lot more other extensions which are basically uh, a particular feature addition in the Visual Studio Code or, or some new capability. And so make sure that you check that out. And, and if something interests you, you can install those also. All right, let's go back. And eventually, uh, as you start working on it, you will change some of the settings in Visual Studio Code. And so you can tweak those settings if you need to. Uh, again, right here, the keyboard shortcut is Command, a uh, Control, and Comma. And here, let's say we want to increase. Let me just close this sidebar, so I'm going to click here. And let's say you want to change the font size to be a little bigger, right? Uh, if you want a particular font family, you can specify that and so on. And so if I go back and if I open a file, uh, you can increase the font size, you can increase the the font family part and all the other things as well. Coming back, we are almost done with the setup part. So go next. Uh, and then let's go next. Uh, and again, you can go through these. Uh, I'm just walking you through these uh, setup of Visual Studio. Uh, so you can look at, uh, if you want to split the screen uh, to compare two files side by side, you can use that. Uh, as you can see, there are two uh, screens, one on the left, one on the right, and you can add two different uh, files together and then just compare it. And so there is a split screen feature. Uh, and if you are working on, per working on a particular repository, uh, for example, Git or SVN, uh, you can even use that uh, it comes with a built-in support for Git. So if I go right here, you can see there's a source control. Uh, so if your folder or the, the, the files that you're editing already under source control, it automatically identifies that. So let me try and open one uh, Git uh, repository. So let's open. I have a GitHub page, and I would like to see and trust. So you can see all the changes that you have made. Of course, I don't have a whole lot, but if I did, uh, it will be able to find that source control. Okay, going back, we are done with this, done with this. Uh, and then you can also do automation of your project task and so on. And finally, you can even learn some of the keyboard shortcuts that, that are there. If you click on this, it will give you the list of all the keyboard shortcuts it supports. There's a huge list. So you can learn more about the, the, the keyboard shortcuts that can really improve your productivity. 
And so I think we are done with the basic setup of Visual Studio Code. I hope you learned a good deal of Visual Studio Code through this particular video. If you have more questions, feel free to ask a question in the comment. And if you like the content of this video, please click on subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.